Tesla CEO Elon Musk unveiling the very first electric semi-truck. The stock already moving higher after J.B. Hunt said this morning it reserved multiple tractor trailers. Tesla also surprised everyone unveiling a $200,000 sports car. Here's Musk introducing the car. You'll be able to travel from L.A. to San Francisco and back at highway speed without recharging. The, the, the point of doing this is to just give the hardcore smackdown to gasoline cars. Joining us to discuss all of this is Ravi Shankar, transport analyst at Morgan Stanley with a hold on Tesla. Carl Brower, executive publisher at Kelly Blue Book. Blue Book. Gentlemen, welcome to both of you. So, Ravi, investors appear excited. The stock is up 2.2 percent. Does this alleviate some of the concerns they've had of late about Tesla, this new innovation? Well, it, it certainly does bring excitement to the story uh, and certainly uh, a, a way for them to get more uh, deposits in. Uh, but at the same time, I think investors will be looking uh, for Tesla to get past uh, the, the very busy slate they have ahead of them for the next three years, including rolling out the Model 3, the Gigafactory, launching the truck, uh, potentially launching the Model Y, the Roadster, and they even showed us a pickup truck yesterday. Uh, so I think it, uh, it, it gets people excited, but uh, there's a long way to go in actually uh, delivering. Carl, are you guys excited either about the Roadster or the semi-truck? Not the first mover in this category, but a lot of analysts do say this could be an interesting growth area as Tesla changes the game on trucks. Well, certainly there's lots of potential, but that always seems to be the case with Tesla. Lots of potential. You know, we're, we've still got uh, 400,000 plus uh, people who've given Tesla $1,000 waiting for a Model 3. And, you know, at some point, he's got to deliver those before he can, you know, convince everyone that he's going to be able to deliver things like trucks that have to be used by businesses and be very dependable and on time. Uh, and, of course, the Roadster is a great uh, kind of concept car at this point, but it's years away. So it's hard to get super excited until he starts to deliver on the more important thing he's got to do in the near term. Yeah, Robbie, it's not just a question of the time frame, but also of how expensive it's going to be. What's the capital situation in terms of how much cash burn there is and how he's going to now fund these new ambitious two vehicles? Well, I think we're going to see uh, as we go along. Uh, but, but to be honest, we think the, the, the truck is a little bit of a game changer, uh, not so much for Tesla, but, but for the trucking industry itself. I mean, we were looking for three things. We were looking for what, the, what kind of range this truck could do. It is going to be the industry's first Class 8 truck at 500 miles of range. It is going to be the industry's first Level 4 autonomous truck. Uh, and it is going to be the industry's first truck uh, that's nearly 50% cheaper to operate uh, in, in a Level 4 autonomous platoon. Uh, so Tesla is doing what it does best, which is delivering uh, innovation. Uh, and you know, as they keep uh, delivering both the models themselves and, and, and upcoming products, uh, we'll see how, uh, how the cash flow and the capital uh, generation uh, progresses. Uh, Carl, uh, at least on the sell side, uh, analysts, I think, might have been surprised by the range, right? Uh, there, there were some skeptics who said they expected a range in the four to 500, and they, I guess the average range for long haul is 600 miles a day. Uh, does that a clue that uh, they're, at least their pace of innovation is ahead of expectations? Well, again, it's the claim. It's what we've seen in the specs that he's mentioned. We also haven't seen cost yet, so we don't know how much this vehicle will cost. And I still want to see if he can sell it at a profit. You know, I, I'm, I'm one of those old fuddy-duddies who keeps going back to the fact that we're on uh, 14 years now without a sustainable business model. So at some point, concept cars and great ideas need to turn into actual profit. That's what I think. So, so Robbie, what do you do with the stock? It has been weighed down lately about amid questions about the production delays and the bottlenecks around the Model 3, not to mention the financial strain that's going to take. And yet, here comes Tesla again with the flashy new release of very innovative cars. Stock's up over the last year, but down over the last few months. Well, our auto team is uh, equal weight Tesla. I mean, we still think the near term is going to be determined by uh, the, the Model 3 rollout and how quickly they can ramp up production there. Uh, but clearly, uh, uh, opening up new TAMs, uh, whether it is with uh, commercial uh, Class A trucks uh, or pickup trucks or even extending it to the Roadster, are certainly positive uh, for the long-term thesis uh, and expanding the, the terminal value in our DCF. But the near term is going to be about Model 3 and Gigafactory. 
All right, we'll see if we get any updates there uh, after the quarter. Robbie Shanker, thank you for joining us from Morgan Stanley. Carl Brower from Kelly Blue Book. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.